morning okay it's been a while but uh i'm here for an elite crazy house arena again um i'm actually on well i'm coming off night shift duty with spencer but uh, he let me sleep fairly well um he's sleeping at the moment but uh my availability will change from minute to minute depending on when he wants to wake up um so you may see me come in and out of this stream um Anyway, we'll give it a go, see how it is. We might have to play with him uh, being carried. We'll see. Uh, all right. I'm going to be uh, berserking pretty heavily today. The time limit is uh, two minutes and zero increment. Um, so it's good, uh, good conditions for berserking, I'll say. Uh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, not not really offering too much commentary just yet, but um, we're up against Opal Wesson here. Uh, I'm just going for the light squares, trying to make something happen quickly. Yeah, it wasn't ideal. Okay, we'll try to. Oh, I'm not even threatening mate, so I just blundered my queen. That's pretty bad. Um, ooh, a yuck. This is not how to play Crazy House. No, I was happy with my knight on d4, but um, bishop at f4 probably lost a bit too much material. Um, yeah, I've got to defend g6 now. We'll, we'll part with the knights, potentially, or we might grab f4. Um, Knight at f6 coming. Yeah, knight at f6. Something to worry about, but not now. We'll just try to stay safe. Maybe pick off this queen. Oh, that's annoying. Got to defend that bishop. Let me get this queen out of my house. Um, Okay, he's putting on the skates now. Uh -huh. It's all happening very quickly. I think he's too good here. Uh, nah, out of time. Too fast at the end. Well done, Opa. Yeah, if you if you get stuck at a situation where your king's the one that's under attack, it's it's a lot harder in the time scramble. But uh, we'll be seeing uh, Opa Wesson versus uh, Jasugi ninety nine. Uh, in the next 24 hours, they are. Well, Jasuki99 is 12.10, I should note. Um, I've uh, put forth a $200 prize pool um, for Opal Wesson, the one minute Crazy House World Champion, and 12.10, uh, very popular player. Um, we all know his strength. Um, they're facing off for a 100 game match. Um, they've already played uh, 50 games last week. And I believe Jasugi or 12 team won 29 games to 21. Um, so that's where they'll be starting from. Uh, yeah, we'll take this one. Don't know if I like taking that actually. Um, you pro should probably keep that bishop, but e4 is is weakened a bit. No, I'll preserve g7, it's worthwhile. e4 still under attack. Alright, so I'm a pawn up here as black. Um, passive but solid, so we'll just progress slowly. So knight takes d4 a threat here with bishop at c3. 
Alright, he might be trying some knight at g7 trick here, getting the bishop onto h6. I think that's a reasonable idea. The problem is there's a rook on h1, which would cover h6 here. He's kind of lost all his pieces. Alright, we'll just grab. I could have played rook at h1, but we'll play it now. Um, I want to free up the c4 square for the knight. The bishop at g3 made in one. Okay. On the board. <clears throat> so Mixu Chess, Katask in the chat, welcome. Strong strong field today. Katask, Opa Wesson, the finisher, Mariorton, Y Scorpion. Um, and possibly more. Alright, the finisher. Let's see. I haven't played the finisher in quite a while. One of our theorists. So I'm expecting I'll run into the latest theory. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not too concerned about this one. Because if he takes here, I've got knight at f5 check. And there's you got to watch out for discoveries. He's got to watch out for knight at c6, knight at d5. Uh, yeah, like that's Black's problem. There's a lot of sharp lines here. Um, okay, but he's gone to remove some knights off the board. Okay. So he's got no immediate threat. Um, neither do I, though. So I, I need to make something. I want I want to play knight at d5. I've berserked here, so I'm a bit short on time. Now my bishop gives me some dark square coverage, so if he, he sacks... No, he hasn't sacked the... Okay. Mm. Where's my play? I'll try to make something with knight b6 and queen c7, they're the, the threats. The knight at c3 is actually a good move here, I missed that one. But maybe I can play king e1. Yeah, then I'm getting chased out to f2, maybe king c1. Hard to say, hard to say. Alright, we'll go King C1. I sense it'll be a flag race that we come down to here. We'll see if I regret berserking. Um. <clears throat> okay, it's got to hold a steady nerve. Okay, time critical, time critical. Um, nah, he should have taken my queen on a8, but uh, we both ran low on time. <laughs> Gattes says the finisher is stealing from me, sad to see. No, I don't think he did. Um, uh, you play you play queen takes f6 katask. I think that's stronger than g takes f6. Um, but uh, the line is quite hard to refute without stockfish. 
If you've seen it with stockfish, it'll just tell you the answers. Okay, oppa. <coughs> Alright, we've played this line before. I don't feel like he's uh, ever really refuted it. But he gets good positions. Okay. How to play against this if you've got. Well, he can't block with the queen, so. Get this one. He can play knight takes. Yeah, I don't mind that. Ooh, I, I have a problem with this though. Um, wasn't meant to lose my queen. So that was his trick. Okay, okay. You got me. Um. Yeah, I've just lost a ton of material and time. Uh-oh, my little guy's gonna wake up, I think. Oops. This has all gone bad for me. Uh... No, he hasn't woken up. I'm gonna resign this, that was too good. I missed, I missed knight f3 check. Um... So, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe after bishop takes d7, I have to decline recapturing the bishop. Okay, CIW. Okay, d4, c5, alright, I'm out of book already, so this should be interesting. <clears throat> but I dare say my opponent is likely out of book as well. Okay, let's hit that queen. Um, yeah, okay. Develop the bishop. <coughs> Oh, well, a knight on d6 is going to finish things pretty quickly. Oh, you can run. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe i got to do it this way. Well, I meant to put my knight there. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, knight e8 was meant to be the move, but uh, I messed that up. Okay. He can run, but... I'm happy enough. Got to make sure I don't get mated now. So I'm going to cover e4 just because knight at e4, knight at g4 would mate me. I didn't see a mate immediately. I need uh, a bishop to cut off his king from a6, so I probably need to swap one here. So the knight here also prepares c4, so if I pawn at b4 at some stage. Or maybe even there's something tricky with queen takes c8, bishop at c4. Uh, let's see, what's he doing? He's got knight at h3. Uh, we'll, we'll play risky. Queen at f2, I can run. 
Oh no, but he's making me lose my use my bishop, so I'm in trouble now. Didn't need to take such risks. Oh, I shouldn't have even chased him there. Yeah, I've got problems here. How did I get into this? Oh dear. Yeah, that should not have been that close. I, I deserve to lose that game in the end. <coughs> but uh, if I had played knight e8 instead of queen at e8, things would have been a lot easier for me. That's okay. Always got to warm up a few. Legion Destroyer, welcome. Leper01 asks, is Opera the best player currently? Yes, Opera is the best player currently. He has won uh, the Crazy House World Championship uh, both last year in 2018 and this year. Uh, and the time control has varied, so we've had a 3 plus 2 and um, 3 plus 2 in 2018, and this year the time control was um, 1 minute and no increment. Okay, why Scorpion coming in with the attack? <coughs> uh, I don't mind this too much. I get the rook file. It's not common in in this sort of setup. I'll put a bishop on. Yes, white dancing rosters. They still have to see how TT vs Open matches finishes. Well, that's not for the official world title because 12 team didn't play any of the preliminary rounds. But uh, that is for people's champion. That's what we're calling the event. So 12 team can still become people's champion. Uh, we'll take this one. All looks fun, unless the knight <coughs> lands on f6. So it's all very sharp here. You gotta be careful. Because you can sack this and try to get knight f6, but yeah, he's trying for it. Um, but I can just I can just cut off the rook file first before capturing the queen. Then he has no rook e8 check, and then his queen sack looks a little bit silly. So now we got to try to finish this off. Um, I don't want to lose that knight. He can't take it. Um, he'll have to play knight take c3. Just gotta make sure I don't get mated back here. <coughs> so his knight's now on c3, not on d5, that's critical. Um, I'm just taking all these pieces, trading my pawns in. <coughs> that was a nice game. Nice sharp game. Alright, so far I've had the uh, far from ideal um, start with the multipliers. Alright, we'll just play something fairly standard. So having to think about this, um, it's not it's not entirely critical just yet, but oh, I, I could get adventurous and if he just plays knight of d. Oh, okay, knight of d4. Wow, 
Okay, some kind of some kind of theory here, maybe. I don't know, knight of g2, but I can just take his queen at the end of it. Yeah, it looks looks interesting. Because he gets f3. And this knight's going to cover g8, so I'm not going to have some kind of trick with knight at h6, knight at f6. Uh, so I'm going to have to back off there. He can take that. That's good. Uh, now, pawn at e2 is a concern. Uh, maybe no, rook g1 is not good. Pawn at e2 is very strong here. Yeah. Now, this is, this is very good from black. Maybe this knight at d4 is some kind of theory. I don't know. The Finnish has got a lot of uh, a lot of tricks in his bag, so you never really know what you're up against. Um, no, he's threatening to just take d1. Guess I'd better take this. Oh, bishop at d2 is just winning. That's really poor. You better see that bishop at d2 wins. Oh, as is this. Well, my uh, bishop takes d4 move was pretty horrible, but I think by then I'm I'm quite well losing. So that could be a a nice theoretical play. Knight at d4. <coughs> All right, Percy guy. So. Again, I've uh, just got the multiplier and then I've lost it, which is not ideal. Alright, we'll be a bit aggressive this game. I don't think, theoretically, this is a good set for white. It's just a, a practical decision. I'm looking for play on the light squares. Okay, so I've done the sack. Um, which way? I'm spending far too long in the opening here. We'll just grab this. I might get checked here. The queen f2, king king d1, and then pawn at e2 and knight e3 are both covered, so I shouldn't be mated. Man, he's got to watch out for like bishop at c6. Maybe I have a mate here, bishop d5. So maybe pawn at f3 was, was quite a strong move because if you lead with pawn at f3, then after queen at f2, king d1, at least you have queen takes f3, you can continue the attack. And here it's a little bit harder. Um, right now I'm focused on trying to stop the king getting back here. So let's let's try this. Now, if the king runs out to one of these squares, I'll get knight at f4. So, I don't mind if he runs. Do I have mate? Maybe it's better to... Mm, we'll just take go here. I get the queen with check. That should be enough to seal the deal. If I don't get mate, I'll get a good position. Um, H4, no, we'll take the knight. He had knight F2. <coughs> Opera in disguise. Is that actually Opera? I don't know if that's Opera. It says TT, 
got that in the bag, I think, to be honest. Eight for such a player, but I try to give it my best shot. Yeah, you, you can't think like that going into 50 games, Oppa. You just can't think like that. You just play one game at a time like there's nothing to lose, and you'll have a shot. Okay. Got a defense C7. Alright, we'll take it. Not ideal, I'm giving black, uh, sorry, giving white all the development that he would want. Let's see what we can make of this. Try to find a way in. Okay, well, we just keep putting pawns on now. Okay, I'll get my pawn on E2 first. He's going to get one too. Fair enough. Got to stop knight at F6. Okay, queen for a queen. Whose attack will win first? Yeah, that's a problem. I don't actually have a mate threat because I need... I need something that I don't have in hand now. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. Um, Yeah, 10 seconds as well. I'm, I'm drawing thin here. Just have no mate threat. Oh yeah, I've just left E7 hanging. Maybe I should have taken that knight first. Still have no mate. This is a problem. Alright, now, now I have something. But now I gotta find it in a really short period of time. Okay, now he he put his knight off g2, and um, that gave me a very small opening in the last few seconds there. No, knight doesn't mate because knight at h3. If you play king h1, rook at g1, there's bishop takes g1. There's no smothered mate. That's why the defense was so hard to break. But once his knight came off, uh, took its eye off g2, then. I had an avenue in with bishop takes g2. So even even with knight at h3, there's like no mate. It's it's actually a really nice setup for white. Okay, I, I have not won a game on multiplier yet. Okay, CIW. So I had a good game with d4 before. He's going down the same line. Okay, well. A knight looks good in hand for me. I'm just gonna cover g4. Let's play very sensibly. Could just grab this, go pawn at h6, pawn at g7. That's hard to hard to deal with. So queen b6. Bishop b3 takes takes bishop at g5 is a is a way out. Yeah, it's going to take f7, threaten pawn at g7, mate. Um, I could take a knight, try to win the queen. All right, we win this way. 
So against CIW, I mean, he plays a good e4, e5, so I just throw in a d4 when I can. And uh, that's just a practical decision because it's uh, sometimes a bit easier to play uh, when your opponent's not so familiar with their opening. And then Tyus Leaves says, I had a different idea, but I would check it with engine. Yeah, you can check it with the engine. I, I didn't. I didn't see a mate unless I got some help from White in um, in the game before CIW. Okay. Okay. More lock. Right. I'm giving up e5 early. So I give give a piece back, but I'm still a pawn up. Um, Develop. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put some more pressure on light squares. Flourish! 20 months! Wow, thanks Flourish. That's amazing, man. Appreciate the support. Um, yeah, I, I kind of missed this move, but it's not... Shouldn't be life threatening. Pawn at f2 here, knight at g3. He wins my rook, but that's where it should stop. So now my threat's playing again. I'll just keep up this pressure. Hey, Jan, so glad I finally got to catch you live. Hard to believe it's been 20 months. Yeah, man, 20 months. 20 months is a long time. Okay, I probably shouldn't have taken that one. Uh, bishop at h4, I, I don't want to take that. Um, I'm probably risking a bit too much there. I'm probably safe still, but... I'd be risking too much. Pawn at g3, king g1 was safe enough. Um, okay, we'll take this way. And then... It should be game over. Try to mate him with pawns. Do it with pawns. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of pawns. Oh no, wait, wait. Uh, I gotta be... Yes. I was frugal with f5, so I could do it with pawns. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Alright, a few uh, a few oranges, that's good. Yeah, okay, knight at h3, king h1, bishop takes g2, knight takes g2, knight f2 is too slow because white will have rook at h8, mate in 7 from Stockfish, and that's if you had N, which, you, yeah. So you can tell I was up against this, right? Okay, we're up against Strengthened again. So we'll play a different different line. Maybe A6, stop Knight B5. Okay, Knight F4 played. That's all right. Okay, we'll get him to make a weakness on e3. He could still play e4 here, that's fine. For white, white is just fine here. So we've just got a game. Oh, I should have taken that. I can take it now. Okay. It's weakness, weakness, but nothing really material just yet. Okay, let's throw out a little stinger here. All right, we're in. We've pressed on the wall until it caved. Now we got to try to win this before our time runs out. Okay. Not too concerned by White's counterplay yet. Um, I do need to move this knight out of here somehow. 
he's removed it for me. Okay, I'm just going to undermine the defender here. Oh, well, let's not allow that. Okay, you can't stop me now. Okay, I've got the lead. Kataski is uh, in the chase. Oppo Wizen decided not to play. Maybe he's decided to watch instead. The finisher is still pushing away. It hasn't berserked here. I've been pretty fortunate to play like 40 minutes undisturbed so far. Um. All right, I'm just gonna check on my kid. Hang on, I'll be I'll be back. Looks like his arm is stuck like in the the cot has like. Yeah, whatever. His arms looks like it's going to get stuck and he'll probably wake up if I don't do something about it. I'll be right back. Right, yeah, so we got this uh, little baby monitor, which is absolutely awesome. Um, it does uh, video and sound um, all around the house, but it'll go quiet if there's uh, not much going on. So uh, it kind of gives you an alert when you've got to attend to your kid. So I can uh, play Crazy House here, but then also... Um, Maintain my responsibilities. Okay. C5. So E4 is going to be his break. Uh, he's trying to encourage H6, I think. Mm, let's play H5. Uh -huh. Alright, if he wants to play E4, it'll all break open.
give up the bishop. So f3 is weak, there's c2 on offer. So bishop at d1 is playable. I could play pawn at h6. I don't have to. I think I will, just to get him off my dark squares. Maybe bishop at g5. All right. Sack. Sack a bit of material, but I really want to push him off. Okay, I'm going to sack queen if he offers it. Rah, like, didn't even think about that. Like, that's just... Doesn't even matter if it's sound. That was just... On, on John Lee principles, like, that queen sack was on. Like, no one was denying me of that queen sack opportunity. Uh, queen takes e7 is good here. Um... I mean, white's, white's completely fine. It's not like the queen sack really did anything. It's uh, it's just for the atric value. I want to play pawn at e2 and pawn at d2. Um, but we'll first hit his queen. And I want to leave this rook on the back. That's why I'm taking that one. Ooh, he wants to... He wants to attack. He want to attack. All right, can I sack my queen back? <coughs> okay, pawn at e2. One of the men one says, I sometimes wonder with all that kid monitoring tech that is getting popular these days, the new generation will grow having the sense there is always someone around watching them. Oh, no. Nah. Believe me, sometimes he cries a good, a good period of time before we get to him. But he'll feel like he's not being watched at all sometimes. Um, okay, I'm safe. Good game. <clears throat> kind of random to discuss that in a chess stream. Also, a one-year-old will, one-year-old will freak if they're not being watched. <coughs> yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with a bit of random. Yeah, no, um, stuff about my kids always seems to come up in my streams, either because it's top of mind for me, or because my daughter will actually just stream bomb me, so... Um, it is what it is, so bishop c5 again, alright, well, I didn't mind what we got out of this. Okay... Yeah, the D3. Uh-oh, he's on the move. Spencer's on the move. Okay, I'm just gonna artificially castle. So sometimes that's not a bad idea if your opponent's gone sack heavy at the start. You just, you don't have to trade too much. And then um, you can consolidate. And if he wants to check me here, I can go to h1. Or just put a bishop on e3, that might be better. Alright, he's going to sack some more. Alright, pawn at g4 is coming in. Got a few of my own pieces in there while I was, while I was at it. Let's go to f2, because sometimes if you go to g1, knight at h3 will mate you later. So this way, if knight at h3, I can always go this way. Uh, oh, I probably had mate. With I, I didn't see queen h6 was there, so... Yeah, no, it doesn't quite work. That's alright. He wants a knight for this square. 
Alright, I'll be back guys. My my kid's crying. Queen H6, done. I need to pause it. Pause, pause, pause. Pause. Yeah, pause. Okay, hang on. I'll be back. Hey guys, looks like 
Spencer's done sleeping. He's got a big head of hair and he turns heads wherever he goes. Let's just put the camera a bit lower so everyone can see you. Because you're so cute, aren't you? Isn't that the cutest baby in the world? Look at him. Look at him. Bounce, bounce, bounce. See, if you're a parent and you just got sleepless nights the whole time and you don't muck around once in a while, there's not much fun. So you've got to muck around a bit. And he'll hate me when he's 21. He's like, Dad, like, why did you do that to me? Why didn't you give me a haircut? And why did you, like, bounce me around on the internet? Like, I can't undo that now. Like, anyway. There we go. So, yeah, it okay. doesn't matter if you can't see all of my head. So. Let's try to play with Spencer. All right, so buddy, we're gonna teach you how to play Crazy House, okay? You're already five months old, you gotta make a start in life, okay? All right, this guy's Mari Orton. Okay, I usually like some D3 kind of system, so let's, let's see where this goes. We played this once earlier today, you did Queen D2, Queen G5. Okay, we'll play h5. Okay, no clear path to progress yet. Um, we'll pull, do a queenside push. Why not? Um, Alright, bishop f4 is an issue. I can't defend this easily. That's interesting, isn't it? So we'll make him play it. Bishop f4. Because, I mean, you know me, I'm okay with sacking my queen, so well, I didn't do it. Alright, queenside push. Doesn't really do anything. Bishop f4 is still good here, so that's. Oh, he's done queen f4. Okay, well. Okay, living dangerously here. So some trades, he'll get knight at e7. Uh, yeah, I'm probably being a bit too loose here, because he, he can... He can't really get a pawn easily. He can't sack here, because then that'll be too much danger for his own king. Knight at e7 coming, but he doesn't have a pawn for h6. You just take that. I got knight at g5. This might become useful at some stage. We've got the triple pawns in the middle. Interesting game. Yeah, I don't really like my situation. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to knock off that bishop because I don't like it. Uh, gotta defend both the rook and the knight. I'm running low on time now. This is a problem. It's just gonna wind my, just run my clock down. Okay. Let's play. Let's play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta move. Gotta move. I just wanted to give g6 some more coverage before I go nuts. Okay. Hard to get in. I'm running so low on time. I don't see how I'm going to win this. You can just... Oh, no. I'm busted here. I ran too long time. Well done, Mariotto. His fortress held up and he, he got through my wall first. <laughs> you got a future ZH god in that hair. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We got to adjust to having having the, the baby. Whoa. JK the bullfrog. Okay. Going for 100% Berserk. Let's see what he's got. So I've been throwing around this new idea 
pawn to d6, which, which is nothing fancy, but it is hard to figure out over the board. So let's see what JK comes up with. Knight at h4, pawn to d6. Here it is, the novelty. And then he'll either know it and respond instantly, or he won't know it and it will take a while to think about it. So what's interesting here is there's a queen sack idea where you can play knight at f3, but at the moment if you take it, knight takes c7, um, and uh, I just step back for a moment. I was going to say queen takes d5, knight takes d7. You got to go for here. Queen takes d5 to avoid the knight f3 check. If you take here, queen at e8 is mate. Um, now I've taken g7 so that I'm not. Uh, we'll just take it, maybe. Um, I had to get my queen off d4. Arguable if I should take this knight or not, or leave the queen here. I think it's fine. Knight at f3. My bishop covers e2, so I'm not mated. That's check. What's he doing? Knight at f3 doesn't work. I just win all the pieces. It, that was a a brain slip from Jack Killer there. Um, how to play this? I should have mate. Yeah, Bishop e5 was clearly uh, a blunder. That way he thought Knight at f3 covered it. <clears throat> nice, yes. Flourish said house says when Jan analyzes a line, his stopping condition is whether or not a queen can be sacrificed. That's right. So my opponent sacked the queen there, uh, where I had to play knight takes d6, and my assessment was black is already winning, and I'll have a tough game ahead. That's uh, that's my eval on the position. Okay, the wall e6 d6. Well, you didn't think that was a good move. What are you talking about, buddy? Of course, it was a good move. All right, pawn at c7 would trap the queen. Um, Something direct here. See, rookie one, rookie one just kind of plays into his hands. It, knight, knight e5 is coming no matter what. So maybe we start early with pawn at h6. We've got this line here. Just wanted to do something direct. Huh? Oh, that's that's a juicy one because now I get g7 h7. I got more than I bargained for there. Um, guess I got to try not to run out of time though. I kind of want to threaten to take a knight because knight at d5 is dangerous, but I'm also sneakily covering h7 to put another pawn there. So if he takes here, yeah, I just got to move. Pawn at g6 is to distract the king off there. If it comes here, rook at f7. So, uh, yeah, again, we'll use the same trick with pawn at h5 if I get hit on f7. Um, so, knight e5 is a good move, but then g8 queen is also there. It's pretty tough here, because if you don't cover here, I get this one. So there we go. So that's that's a good move to stop these f5 tricks because the bishop covers f5 by x-ray, but I get in this way. So bishop at h7 and rook at h4 is how we finish from here. All right.
All right, Kataska's in the lead. We've got 57 minutes to go. We go this way. We go this way. This way. Where's the chessboard? Where's the chessboard? Oh, all right, pressy guy. All right, we're back. Make this E3 weakness if we can. We have. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't think this is a hugely successful move. I sacked my queen. It, it wasn't on, it wasn't called for, but it happened. He made me do it. He made me do it. It wasn't my fault. Okay, what's happening here? Ah, okay. So I find that one of the best things about sacking your queen where it makes no sense is that the remaining position is very unlikely to have been seen before. Because it's unlikely that someone else would have played it because it didn't make sense to sack the queen there. So at least you find yourself in a position which is unfamiliar. Um, yeah, okay, we'll take this. Mm, you got a few knights back. <coughs> so I've got my queen back somehow. And I think we're dead even on material. Uh, but my clock is running low, right? So... Whoa... Okay, well, we'll just instinctively avoid that one. Um... Don't know I had to, though. Maybe... Hard to say, hard to say. Okay, I'm just going to run out of time if I just keep talking nonsense here. Um, hey, but stop struggling. Just stop struggling. We've got a time scramble coming up. I need you to sit still for a bit, okay? We're going to sit still, okay? Yes, we are. Alright, H7's covered. Um... That's nasty. This guy is nasty. Oh man, he's gonna get me on G7. I'm in trouble. Uh, yeah. I'm in big trouble here. Ah. Uh, well, I've gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. We won, buddy. We won. We won. Yeah. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Alright. Okay. Alright. Sorry. Sorry for that outburst. Okay. Katask. So, Katask is one of these guys that you also have to get out of the opening, or else there will be problems. Um, that looks capturable. We're just playing practically here, see what comes along. We hit a queen, we just throw a few pieces forward. See what comes along. Threatening mate here with queen at h1, bishop takes g2, knight e2. 
and he doesn't have anything directly around my king yet so it's looking pretty good for white uh, for black I should say uh, is this mate um, oh be fancy queen at h3 looks like fun doesn't it so if he puts a queen there I can take it he can't take here because of queen at h2 Alright, we'll just keep piling on. Oh, maybe I had mate. <laughs> if he takes here, knight takes f2. This is all very fun for black. So, that's the trick with Katask. Avoid opening, and then try to outplay from there. <laughs> Too strong, he says, yeah. No, that was uh, that was uh, one of the opening prep lines I had for Oppa Wesson. Nothing special for black, but white doesn't get anything direct and it's it's not as simple to play um. oh I forgot to berserk well I always have to have one of those I meant to berserk uh, but I did lose on time to Murray Orton so maybe it works out Katar says the counter trick is to memorize all. Yeah, well, you can try to memorize all, but it's pretty hard to memorize everything, everything. Um, Alright, he plays rook b1. I'll counter with rook b8. Okay, we're gonna move everything to the king side and then see if we can snap at some stage. Um, I actually have time to think for a change. Uh, queen sack. Oh, it's just, it's actually so unfruitful that I am not going to sack the queen there. I'm sorry. Sorry to let you all down, but uh, I declined the queen sack. <coughs> okay. He's put his bishop here, which is like really passive, but uh, if I do things on dark squares too quickly, then it's actually useful. So. Now h3 is not really a move. Um, okay, we'll build slowly. Slowly, strategically. Ah, uh, he countered my... Uh, he countered my c5 idea, so I need to prepare it. There we go. Okay. He wanted that. That's fine. Okay, he senses he's got the attack now. Alright, well that's that's a queen sack I'm not gonna decline. Um I mean come on guys, I I avoided one, so and uh, knight takes f five. This is looking good for, for white. Knight takes f five I was really concerned about. Now I'm a bit happier. Okay, look at this triple attack. Now, importantly, if this knight takes this one, you can't take here because a queen at g8, knight at f7, mate. So you have to take with the h pawn. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just defend this. I can take e5 at some stage. Mm. So he's going to come after g7. <coughs> we will return the knights. Um, yeah, okay, but... Let's... Oh, I can't take that one. <laughs> I thought I could play one pass on, but no. Uh, okay, there's no mate threat there, so I shall... Attack. Oh no! Oh no, that's horrible. That's devastating. I, I, I just missed knight takes h5 altogether there. That's quite disappointing. Alright, defending desperately here. Ah! Alright, need to check. 
I need a check. I need a check. I need a check. All right, hold on, bud. Um, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't lose this one on time. Oh, I'm playing horde. Uh, lots of uh, lots of bits. Oh, I had queen f3, rook h3, rook h1 mate. Oh, alright. Didn't deserve to win that game, uh, but I desperately held on to my g7 square at the end. <coughs> yeah. Alright, bud. Hang on. Hang on, just relax, relax. Alright. I'm gonna have to hold him. Here. Yeah, yeah, alright. Just relax, stop screaming. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Alright, we'll hold you, we'll hold you. I gotta like rock him this way in the hope that he calms down. Ooh, knight takes e5. I should have played knight c3, shouldn't I? That's okay. We'll play. <coughs> All right, but just settle down. Settle down. Um, nice move. Play knight f4. Yeah, bud. Alright, if he takes d4, I got pawn at d7. So he's got to be careful here. I, I don't know if queen takes d4 was accurate. Yeah, he's gone for the check. I think the, the check is right. Yeah, a oh, boo boo. Whoa, bud, bud, hey, hey, just settle down. I think he's getting bored. Are you getting bored? It's not that boring, is it? This is really sharp. There's a lot to think about here. Yeah, I don't know. So rook at h1 is interesting. Knight at g1, takes, takes, knight at f3. I probably push into the corner, so after takes, I still have a bishop to take b5, so I can free up d7. If I take f3, I think that's wrong. Okay. So he's made me consume my knight. Yeah, bud. Alright, 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 alright. Calm down. Boo, boo. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like this now. He just woke up not that long ago, but he's a bit bored here. Alright, uh, the draw is fine. Alright, I'll offer a draw. I don't know if I, my draw offer went through. That's okay. I'm going to pause the tournament there. Hang on. Good game, Katas. You deserve to win that anyway. Just hang on a second.
Hey guys, sorry. Alright, I gotta click the draw button twice. Uh, okay. So it's, it's like to prevent you from accidentally offering draws, maybe. Okay. Um, my wife has uh, woken up and she's looking after Spencer for now. So, got 38 minutes to focus on Crazy House. Hey, mustard boy. Where am I? Oh, I was, uh... Spencer was crying before, so I had to had to uh, help him get sorted. All right, let's go. Let's focus. Now we're up against strengthened. Okay, so we're hitting C6. <clears throat> now we're also putting the queen under pressure for to defend two things. Okay, we'll take this one. This one. And this is a balanced position. Oh, okay, but I like having a knight in hand because now I might be able to do some damage over here. Um, we'll just block, stay safe. Okay, well, uh, I don't want to sack when I'm letting a king open. I've got quite a safe king at the moment. Knight at f5 would be expected. And then I might... Uh, might go nuts. All right, here we go. Gotta make something happen. Okay, I can play knight g6, pick off this rook, but I don't need to do it in a hurry. Oh, bishop b4 was much better. This is not good. Not not thrilled with how I've played this one. Okay, pawn at f7 is kind of nasty. I don't have a mate though. Um. Okay. Gosh, I'm short on time. Gonna come down to the wire. Um, mm, do I have mate? I think I do. Yeah. Yeah, this mate's. Alright. Lucky guess. Pawn at f5. Okay, when it is orange, it's basically asking for confirmation to see you assure you have the offer. Yeah, okay. Good. I know then. But, I mean, the interface has changed over the years as well, and, you know, you don't very often offer draws in Crazy House, so that's probably why it's a gap. Yeah, so... That that was my bad task. I never actually got the draw offer out, did I? <coughs> oh yeah, you're like a uh, an addict for draws, right, Katask? That's what I hear. In Crazy House. So much so that you will even try to offer draws. Uh, Okay, Tratare Degonat. Whoops, 
that was a slip. That pawn was meant to go to e4. So we'll have to play e3 instead. Let's make this one up as we go. Let's see where it lands. Okay, this one's interesting. Got something going already. I pick up the queen. Queen, maybe knight takes d5. Try to distract the knight. I didn't want to take this because then it has, helps him defend. This way the knight is still effectively defended. Knight at c6 is going to be an issue. So I, I just want to take this and put a knight on c6. Queen at d5, pawn at e6. Looks winning. That game went a lot better than expected after my e3 slip. <coughs> um, Schumer 2900, no, the uh, match is not yet finished. I believe within the next 24 hours it it should conclude. Uh, Jasugi is currently ahead 29 to 21, and there's 50 games to play within the next 24 hours. Okay, burp cow. All right, I'm hitting this one. Okay, he got a pawn back. Oh, maybe I should have played h6. This is a bit loose. Um, I probably have to take this if he puts it there. Uh oh, I'm losing my rook. Oh well. He didn't see it. Queen takes a8 was on. May as well sack here. And. Yeah. He might sack here and try to go for the light squares, we'll see. He does it. Alright, I want to open up my queen here. If I'm going to have a chance. Alright, we'll defend gallantly with the king. Maybe go this way. It's not really allowing my queen to go where I wanted it to. Okay, it's got to stop knight at h5. Hmm. Rook takes e4 could be deadly there. Alright, now knight in hand might help me. Uh, have I missed something? Alright, let's go run crazy. See if I can... Oh no! He's got knight of 5 And he's probably got enough pawns to mate me. That's a shame. Hmm, nice game, Burp Cub. I missed, uh, I missed knight takes f5. I thought I was running to safety there. <clears throat> yeah, I, I took a bit too much risk there, anyway. Um... It's probably a, a case where I had to defend a little more rather than just go crazy with the attack. I like bishop at h7 because it cut off it cut off g6 and g8. All right, I'll stay true to my strategy. We're going to play d4 against ciw. Okay. He's going to play something very standard, solid. Okay. Get him on e6 as much as we can. Mm. 
Yeah, he's he's comfortable in this position. Um, uh, go crazy on dark squares, I think. Black is completely fine here. Whoa! I just lost a knight for nothing. That was that was a cold blunder. Like I did, I did not see that. <laughs> That's like, yeah, let's just hold a straight face here and say we were going to, yeah, plan on playing uh, rook c7, yeah, with compensation for losing the knight on b5. Okay, he's kind of letting me have some activity though. He doesn't have diagonal pieces to place, which is a bit awkward for him. Uh, the bishop at g6 could be quite painful. I just got to stop this mate here. Knight at e2 and rook at g1 is a mate threat. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Oh, he's good here. He knows he's good here. Oh, he's allowing me to get some play. No, he shouldn't have let me get this one. He's going to have to sack his queen. Um, or else he's made it. I can take as many things as I can with check. Let's see how we go. Hmm. Don't know I like this last move of mine. Okay, he's got knight at h3, but I've got the rook covering the g file. Okay, lots of checks. Oh, he's got mate. Well done. He won it in the time scramble. Uh, disappointing. Disappointing for me, but not disappointing for him. That was a good hustle right at the end. Okay, the finish shot. Alright. Well, I'm gonna I wanna see what theory's got lined up here. Let's 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 have some fun with this. Alright, let's see let's see what he does against G five. I'm I'm sure he's studied some kind of refutation to this. He's, he's having to recall it though. It's okay. He's going for this one. So queen at h6. Okay, so I've got to stop queen h5 there. But now knight at h3 is a mate threat. So I consider this pretty balanced, unless, you know, the super theory. Ooh, okay. That's very interesting. Um, what's the move here? If I back off... Q1 
Queen H5. Yes, but how do you play against this? Oh, of course. No, but ah, he's got Rook H7. Yeah, now Queen H7. Mm. No, I, I think I had better than this. No, he should have played Queen H7. That was just winning. Um, not like this is losing, but yeah, I gotta do this. This is pretty horrible. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in the tail. Yeah, I'm impressed though. Like that was some pretty deep theory. Bishop at g7 is is like all stockfish. That was all recalled from stockfish. Um, but knight h5. I'm not sure if I've played into his hands there with knight h5. Um, We got 21 minutes left. I better I better check the scores. We've got a getting down to the business end. What's the scores? Oh, I'm behind Katas by a point. I've dropped. I've dropped a whole lot of games. Uh, okay, we gotta gotta tighten up. Uh, we'll back off. Uh. 30 to 5. That was his last. Okay, we're going in. I'm expecting pawn at f6. Didn't happen. Okay, rook g8. Okay, pawn at e3, pawn at f2, bishop at g2, that's what I want. I'm expecting pawn at h2. No, we got pawn at g2. We'll just stop the queen from getting to h6, that's very important. We can resume our attack. Mm. I don't have mate yet. It's close though. Knight at h3. This is out of material to place on the board. Okay, we're briefly in the lead. Katask in trouble against Kiliki. Strengthened again, okay. Gotta play fast.
Oops. He's making inroads. Okay, we sack the queen. Oh, he might go for me here. Knight takes e5. Yeah, he's going for it. Okay, maybe I can hold it. Just. I need this bishop covering the light squares. Oh, knight at h3 is dangerous. Maybe I have to take this way. Didn't like knight at h3. Um, we're just hanging in there. So rook d8, we'll go knight at c7, pawn at d7. Pawn at d7 is a threat already. So if queen at h1, do we use a rook or do we use a knight? Maybe we use the knight. Or should we use the rook? We use the rook. But he doesn't have a queen in hand now, so this is different. Uh, pawn at d7, queen at d2 is the one I would want. Knight at h3 I'm not concerned about. I just take and run up. So he's covered d7 there. Alright, and I get my move in. Just cover at the back. Oh, I should have played queen at c. That's pretty loose. I've got mate here now. should always take mate if you can find it. <clears throat> okay, the finisher, look, is making a run for it. Two theoreticians, Katask and the finisher. Hello, Al Palila says, hello, Jan, new follower. Nice to see you. Yes, nice to see you indeed. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Down on the clock. Let's be ambitious here. No, nasty. Your pawn at six. I don't like it. Gotta respect it. Unfortunately. Uh, queen at e2 mates. So. Oh wow, really? That was a giveaway. That was a gift from Katask. Maybe he was thinking too much about the opening. Uh, Opera in Disguise says, nice series versus TT and Scorpion and Katas yesterday, John. Yes, I, I had some, some good games yesterday. Um, I, yeah, I was playing under some pretty heavy distractions, so I was pretty happy with the results. I think I went 50-50 or better against each opponent. Um, but yeah, I had Spencer crying in the background and I, I was uh, looking after him at the time. Oh, what? Kiliki forfeited. Okay, that was a surprise. Oh, my sound's a bit messed up here. What's going on? Hey, I'm just trying to fix my sound. I've got got double sound on.
It's really weird. I, I feel like I need to start a fresh window. It's just giving me duplicate sound. Close that one. Try again. Two pawn chains. Uh, that's kind of interesting. All right, we're low on time. Gotta go. Convince this works. It's going to close that other window. I'm going to reset my leeches after this game because this double sound is really bugging me. Queen G5, Queen D7, maybe. Okay, I got knighted F7. That should be enough. Alright, I'm just going to reset the chest. I'll be back, guys. Hang on. Let's start again. Oh, okay. I had another window open. I just didn't know about it. Hang on. Let's get back to the tournament. Okay, there we go. That was weird. I must have like clicked on my profile or something and brought up another board. Sorry about the double sound there. But we are back in the tournament <coughs> arena. Bruhemo says, Hi John, long time since I've seen you play. He says, I'm anti-chess champion at Lee Chess. Oh, good on you. Alright. Welcome to uh, the chat. Okay, strength again. So we'll mix it up. Yeah, I'll play E5 anyway. Um, should be four check. Okay. He's taking my pawns. He's taking more than my pawns now. Oh, bishop at b5 is going to hurt. Ooh, yuck. This is really bad for me. Alright, I'm giving up that queen cold. This game hasn't gone the way I wanted. Um, okay, I think my opponent's comfortable enough and good enough to win from here. Ooh. Giving me that one there. Glimmer of hope. Mm. If 
open this way. Okay, need to make something happen somewhere that I'm not making it happen fast enough. Um. It's just holding all the cards at the moment. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere, does it? I'm gonna throw in the towel, I think. That'll do it. Well done. Ooh, don't really want to lose when you got seven minutes left. But uh, yeah, no, I I got outplayed in the opening. He just pulled my uh, B7 and C7 weaknesses apart. Did very nicely there. Burp cow. Oh, burp cow took took one off me already. So yeah, he can just pick that off for free, that's fine. So if bishop takes, I should probably play knight at d3 first. Just to put that king off balance. Also threatening to take here now. So white should be better with the material, but there's, there's practical chances. I always like it when there's practical chances. Okay, what's this? can pick off his queen, he's going for my queen but queen at f1 is mate he had to block possibly we threaten queen at f1 with knight at e2 to finish takes queen at e1, knight at e2 is also mate takes knight at e2 here knight check will also mate here, king e2 let's go to h8 no need to allow knight at g5. Okay, let's play the check and then to f2. There's too many mates to cover there after queen takes d4. That's the power of practical chances. Okay, so he doesn't want to move this knight, so he wants me to take it, so we'll, we'll go this way. So we've only got four minutes left, I've got to try to uh, hold off Katask and the finisher. Um, but I have, I have good chances. All right, we're going straight in. Oh, G6 is hanging. I should have taken that one. Nah, 
that's okay. We just keep keep pushing. Just collect them all to win. Should be looking to finish more decisively here. Um, Okay, here we go. Oop, go again. Alright, this might be last game. I need a couple minutes to go. Yeah, he got a good position out of this. I didn't have to repeat this line. But he doesn't need to take this. I think he'll improve from here. Yeah, here we go. So we'll bring this knight to e5. I'm down um, two pieces with three pawns. Okay, let's go. I get in first if the queens come off. So knight at f3, knight at d3, a few things to worry about. Um, at some stage I can probably just take here if there's nothing better. Right, we'll go knight at f3. He has no rook in hand so I can sidestep. Uh-huh, but I don't have a mate thread here, so I could be in trouble. Um, I'm going to have to give some material back, or else I'm busted. Uh, bishop at b4 to stop. Uh, you can still play knight at h6, so i got to go here. So he's fine, but I get some checks. Alright, mm, probably got to cover g7. I don't think rook at c2 does much for me. Okay, arena just wrapped up, so... Play rook g8. See which way he runs. Okay, he's gone that way. Gotta make my chances somehow. Knight c2. And I'll get rid of one of the attackers on g7 while winning the queen. That's a critical move. Uh, the pawn at c2. Double check. I'll just take any piece I can if it comes with check. There we go. Um, don't want to run out of time. Alright, I was lucky to win that last one. Okay, there we have it. Yes, I'm back. I won an arena. Um, all berserking there. I think I missed one berserk. I don't think I've ever actually got to 100% Berserk right? I always forget to, to hit one. So the finisher on 82, Katas 73, Mariotte on 54, uh, Weiss Scorpion on 46. Um, 
I'm blocking the view, but there are your standings at the end of it. Um, yes, so do check out um, the match. Let's just see. I'll, I'll get the time for you guys. Hang on. I'm probably not going to be able to cover it by stream, but um, uh, let's have a look what time it is. It's just, you know, today I've been quite lucky with um, Spencer sleeping. So I'm usually either looking after Spencer or trying to catch her. So in Sydney, the time is... For Opal Wesson verse 12 teen, the next 50. It's actually 5 a.m. in Sydney. Um, go check out this website. Um, it's on teamup.com, just up here. Uh, and... Check out this website I've just posted in the chat. Um, what you can do is at the bottom right, I've always mentioned this every stream, you can click on your time zone, click show all time zones, and then go to where you are. So in Amsterdam, which is where Opel Wesson will be playing from, <coughs> it will be 7 p.m. his time. Okay. All right. Um, I might leave it there so that uh, yeah, I can uh, help out the family some more. It's been really good to be able to get to, to put a stream in. I'll post this onto uh, YouTube if you missed it. Um, it's good to play in Elite Crazy House Arena and um, great that it's become part of the regular schedule on Leeches. So um, we got to thank the finisher for that because uh, he's the one that makes has made it happen and has had the initiative. So, okay. Thanks for tuning in. We had 100 viewers. Seriously? 100 viewers. That's amazing. Thanks for the support. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you again soon. Um, don't know when, but uh, I'll try to get on when I can. All right. Okay. Take care. See you next time.